Yudo san, we're here again. We're in Japan. You've invited us into the building, which I'm super grateful for. And you've now taken me into a room where they're wearing space suits or something. But this is a clean room for your spindles. Is this overkill what you're doing? Might be a little bit, but this shows our dedication. I mean, to the quality, so. I agree. And you and I have talked about this. And the reason I said overkill to the camera is because it's truly not. What you're actually showing is that this matters to you, that every step of your process mm -hmm. matters to you from the precision of the pallets and the machines and the hand scraping to the big parts and the little parts. Same concept here. And you're making all your own spindles, right? Exactly. So actually, Matsuda is also known for a pioneer in ultra high speed spindle. In 1970s, I think we, we developed the very first machine center with 20k RPM spindle. Uh, those days, I think uh, normal spindle speed is, was 8,000 RPM. So it was major breakthrough. And uh, it was very, ac uh, very accepted, especially in North America, aerospace industry, high speed cutting of aluminum. Still, we make our own spindles, and every Matsura machine comes with this spindle. I like that point, and I think that's an important point to convey to the audience. And we know as machinists and as developers of machines, there's a lot of spindle companies out there that are third parties that go into the machine spindle. Whereas if we want a Matsura precision, we got to buy a Matsura machine. That's it, yeah. So here, I like to discuss what we're doing here. So you are looking at a class thousand clean room, which is overkill maybe. But anyway, clean class is class thousand again. Also, of course, temperature is controlled within 21 degrees plus minus one degree. So in addition to clean and well-established clean room, it is so important to fit the tolerance of every component. So what we're doing here is we measure every single bearing on the shaft because one micron difference makes a huge impact on spindle performance. So we measure manually and carefully every bearing on the shaft to pick the best match of the two of them to make sure the completed spindle has the best rigidity and the performance. Very, very well said, my friend. I think that pretty much sums it up for the audience who's watching. However, I was walking around the room. If, if, if we noticed, I moved from one place to the other while we were filming this, right? And I see the amount of dust per one foot cubed of air in the room is 1,000 particles. That is phenomenal. Larger dust particles are eliminated. Normal fresh air class, one million. Yeah. I mean... We said overkill, we didn't say overkill. Regardless, it is impressive what they're doing in here. And it's really impressive that you've dedicated pretty much this entire facility that you've walked us around mm -hmm. to the accuracy, precision, mm -hmm. reliability, and everything we know Matt Sarah for. Mm -hmm. So I have to say, same as we started this, same to end this as well with this video. Thank you. Thank you for showing this. Thank you for allowing the audience around the world who will never make it to Japan to get to see what we get to see firsthand with these videos. Well, thank you, Tony. It's a pleasure to having us, having you here. And I really appreciate it.